who have been harmed by their own lack of knowledge. I don't know enough myself. We're talking about a very simple concept. You don't need a master's degree in child development. You don't really need any more than the information that's provided in this program. The neighbors will talk. Tell your neighbors to take a hike. I've talked to parents who, um, in trying to tell me about their fears about their children, have called their private parts down there in the front and down there in the back. And I've said to them, oh, it's all right, you don't have to use the children's words, you can use your own. And they've said, those are our own. Children have names for all those parts, but they've never told their parents because they think it's not okay. It's important to know what the real names are for things, even if you don't use them all the time. You might want to use your own words most of the time, but it's important to know what they're really called because someday you may have to explain it to a grown-up, something that's happened to you. A lion's not a kitty cat, whether wild or tame. But people sometimes try to give a thing a different name. We often feel embarrassed or even feel some shame. But when speaking of our private parts, here's what to proclaim. That penis is what boys have down in front. Penis is the word, though it seems blunt. All boys have a penis, so no matter what you've heard, remember that penis is the proper word. Vulva is what girls have down below. Even though most people call it vagina, and some children call it Virginia. Vulva, when she's naked it will show. All girls have a vulva, so no matter what you've heard, remember that vulva is the proper word. Both boys and girls have breasts. Each person recognizes they're found upon our chests and grow to different sizes. Our anus is a useful thing indeed. The anus gives relief in time of need. We all have an anus, so no matter what you've heard, remember that anus is the proper word so don't be appalled because that's what they're called and each of them's the proper word for private parts radius discomfort <laughs> nobody's trying to say it doesn't take practice to get good at talking about this stuff i remember the first time i ever tried to talk to a little five-year-old about uncomfortable things I was a brand new therapist just out of school, but I thought I was doing pretty great and not being too nervous until this little girl reached out to me and put her hand on my shoulder and said, it's okay, you don't have to be embarrassed. We won't talk about this stuff if you don't want to. Nobody is comfortable about anything these days. When's the last time somebody said to you not to worry and you stopped? None of us is particularly comfortable when we're talking about our own sexuality or our child's. Tell your child that you're not comfortable. He'll put his arm around you and tell you it's okay. Even if you're uncomfortable talking about your own sexuality, and most of us are, doesn't mean you can't talk effectively to your kids. Nobody's asking you to become Masters and Johnson. Bridges. This in here is a gap. I want to get from this handlebar to this handlebar. What do I do? I build a bridge. I try to tell them things. But they don't really listen, so I gave up. We got a gap here. What do we do? We build a bridge between kid and parent. With what? Words. When you have a problem, build a bridge. When you need an answer, build a bridge. Just open up the channel and have a family panel. Build a bridge. Build a bridge, build a bridge. <laughs> Whether child or parent, build a bridge. When you feel abandoned, build a bridge.
Just make the effort and you will touch a friendly hand. Build a bridge, build a bridge, build a bridge. Hey kids, some parents aren't very good at building bridges. Kids are usually better at this stuff. Why don't you help them out? Somebody's got to be first. It always feels great when you communicate. Build a bridge, build a bridge, build a bridge. Confabulate. Confabulation. All right, let's try something. Turn off the program, turn to whoever is in the room, and talk to them about anything. If you're with your parents, parents, believe your kids. And kids, try it, because it's fun, you'll have a good time, you don't know what you're going to meet along the way. All right, just try it. Turn me off. Click, boop, bye. Talk. This talk. Saw's <laughs> world. Nobody is supposed to touch your private parts. Period. And you're not supposed to touch anybody else's private parts. The touching song. There are three kinds of touches, this we know. A heart, a question mark, and no. No means stop. A no touch. That's easy. I don't like it. Don't feel good. Keep your hands to yourself. A heart means go. A heart touch. That's a touch I like. That feels good. Question mark means I don't know. A question mark touch. What kind of touch is that? That's the one that starts off okay, and then you get this little voice inside that says, uh-oh. It starts to get yucky. You tell somebody you trust right away about that kind of a touch, that uh-oh touch, all right? There are. Three kinds of touches, this we know. A heart, a question mark, and no. No means stop, heart means go. Question mark means I don't know. No means stop, heart means go. Question mark means I don't know. Yes, there is something you can do if somebody is touching you and you don't like it. Now, go tell. Now, let's try that again. A one and a two and... Now, go, go tell. Nobody should touch your private parts except you. Now, we're not talking about taking a bath. You know, when you're taking a bath, sometimes your mother, she's got to wash your private parts. Everybody knows the difference between washing and when washing gets used as an excuse for touching you in private places. Did you know that your doctor needs your parents' permission to examine you to touch your private parts? Oh, yeah. Dig it. <laughs> it's clear what we're talking about. We're not talking about touching and hugging and kissing when two people love each other. We're talking about touching for sex. And when it's an adult touching a child in this way, it's wrong. And we always know. Nobody should touch your private parts except you. But if somebody does, tell your mom or dad right away. No. Go. Tell. Baby's Smurf. That's right, Baby Smurf. Always tell someone you trust. Don't keep it to yourself. There are three kinds of touches, this we know. A heart, a question mark, and no. No means stop, heart means go. Question mark means I don't know. There is something you can do if you don't like the way someone touches you. It's a big no. You know, when St. George left his house in New Jersey to go and slay dragons, he didn't just walk out in a t-shirt and jeans, dig it. He had his sword, he had his shield, he had his helmet. He was protected. Luke Skywalker, the same thing. When he went after Darth Vader, right? He had the force with him. Well, I'm going to give you something that is going to help protect you, too. Against somebody that wants to take you somewhere you don't